Palais du Luxembourg The French Parliament is the bicameral legislature of the French Republic, consisting of the Senate and the National Assembly. Each assembly conducts legislative sessions at separate locations in Paris, the Senate meets in the Palais du Luxembourg and the National Assembly convenes at Palais Bourbon. Each house has its own regulations and rules of procedure. However, occasionally they may meet as a single house known as the Congress of the French Parliament, convened at the Palace of Versailles, to revise and amend the Constitution of France. Normally, the Parliament meets for a single nine-month session each year but under special circumstances the President of France can call an additional session. Parliamentary power was limited after the establishment of the Fourth Republic, However, the National Assembly can still cause a government to fall if an absolute majority of the legislators votes for a motion of no confidence. As a result, the government usually consists of members from the political party that dominates the Assembly and must be supported by a majority there to prevent a vote of no confidence. The Prime Minister and other government ministers are appointed by the President, who is under no constitutional or other mandatory obligation to make governmental appointments from the ranks of the majority party in Parliament. This is a safeguard that was introduced by the founder of the Fifth Republic, Charles de Gaulle, to attempt to prevent the disarray and horse trading scene in the parliamentary regimes of the Third and Fourth Republics. However, in practice the Prime Minister and other ministers usually do belong to the majority party. A notable exception to this custom occurred during Nicolas Sarkozy's premiership when he appointed socialist ministers and secretary of state-level junior ministers to his government. The rare periods during which the president is not from the same political party as the prime minister are usually known as cohabitation. The cabinet of ministers is led by the president rather than the prime minister. The government exerts considerable influence on the agenda of parliament. The government also can link its term to a legislative text which it proposes, and unless a motion of censure is introduced within 24 hours of the proposal and passed within 48 hours of introduction, thus full procedures last at most 72 hours the text is considered adopted without a vote. However, this procedure was limited by a 2008 constitutional amendment. Legislative initiative rests with the National Assembly. Legislators enjoy parliamentary immunity. Both assemblies have committees that write reports on a variety of topics. If necessary, they can establish parliamentary commissions of inquiry with broad investigative power. However, this is almost never exercised because the majority can reject a proposition by the opposition to create an investigatory commission. Also, such a commission may only be created if it does not interfere with a judicial investigation, meaning that in order to cancel its creation, one just needs to press charges on the topic concerned by the investigatory commission. Since 2008, the opposition may impose the creation of an investigative commission once a year, even against the wishes of the majority. However, they still can't lead investigations if there is a judicial case in process already. The French Parliament, as a legislative body, should not be confused with the various Parlement of the Ancien Régime in France, which were courts of justice and tribunals with certain political functions varying from province to province and as to whether the local law was written in Roman or customary common law. The word Parliament, in the modern meaning of the term, appeared in France in the 19th century, at the time of the constitutional monarchy of 1830-1848. It is never mentioned in any constitutional text until the constitution of the Fourth Republic in 1948. Before that time, reference was made to les chambres or to each assembly, whatever its name, but never to a generic term as in Britain. Its form, unicameral, bicameral, or multicameral, and its functions have varied throughout the different political regimes and according to the various French constitutions. Thanks for watching.